Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Victoria and in this video I'll be demonstrating about serving a meal to patient. So meal times can be actually difficult for patient who is receiving health care. So since they might miss their family members and they could also miss the food that they usually love but there is no longer in their diet plan. So these side effects may cause them to have a little or no appetite at all. So part of the nursing plan is that we should encourage them to eat adequate amount of food even when they have no appetite. So actions such as making sure that the food is in the right temperature, having a pleasant conversation with the patient, and also making sure that they're physically comfortable in order for them to be relaxed and able to enjoy their meal. So there's actually a few types of special diets that we have to pay attention to whenever we serve the meal to a patient. For example, the first type of diet is regular house diet. So this is simply a well-balanced diet and there is no uh, restrictions on specific foods or condiments. For example, uh, amount of salt, amount of pepper, uh, ketchup and salad dressings. And there are many variations to the regular diet, for example, a high calorie or a low calorie version and, and it may be um, ordered to promote weight gain or weight loss. And next is the mechanical diet. So a mechanical diet is a diet that has been changed slightly to remove the food that are hard to chew or digest. So the texture of the food is altered to make them easier to eat and fried or high fiber foods may be eliminated or very limited. As for period diet, uh, the food is blended to a smooth consistency, which is similar to that of a pudding or very moist mashed potatoes. So some people, they may also require a drinkable puree. And the next one is the carbohydrate controlled diet. So this diet, which contains limited amounts of carbohydrate, is ordered for people uh, who have diabetes. So the person's specific energy and nutritional elements, I mean nutritional requirements, they determine the amounts of fat, protein, and carbohydrates that are permitted. So because these amounts, they uh, vary among individuals and the diet is different for each person. So next one is the clear liquid diet. So clear liquids are substances that can be poured at room or body temperature that uh, that you can see through. So the food is considered clear liquids including water, gelatin, fat-free broth or bouillon, uh, popsicles, clear juices for example apple, cranberry and grape, and any clear carbonated soda and coffee and tea without cream. So next one is the full liquid diet. So a full liquid diet is a clear liquid diet plus any food that can be poured at room or body temperature. For example, there's milk, there's plain frozen de uh, desserts, such as popsicles or ice creams. And also maybe it could be cereal gruels and strained soups. So, and the next type of diet is that is pretty common, which is the sodium restricted diet. So this diet is helpful for the treatment of certain types of heart disease, hypertension and kidney disease patients. So a person on sodium restricted diet, they may be allowed to have a small amount of salt or none at all. So for example, some people, they may be able to eat foods that have some salt in them, but they will not be allowed to add extra salt at the table or eat very salty foods such as pickles. And lastly is the low cholesterol diet. So Following a diet that is low in saturated fats and cholesterol is a good advice for a person with a heart disease. So normally the food chosen uh, are lower in animal fats and they are prepared in ways that they do not add addition fats. So for example, the addition of butter, shortening and uh, margarine to foods is avoided. So foods such as fruits and vegetables Whole grains and skim milk, they are mostly encouraged in this low cholesterol diet. I've done my routine, I've washed my hands, I've sanitized it. Hello, I'm your nurse Amanda, may I come in?
Yes, you may. So, okay, is it okay if I check your wristband? Yeah, sure. Alright. Okay, Mr. Alex, so today I'll be assisting you with your breakfast. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, so right now I'll be going to the kitchen and grab your tray. Okay, thank you. So when you go to the kitchen, you have to grab the designated plan of meal for your patient. And don't forget, alongside you will need some towels and also a protective barrier for the patient's gown. So once you get to the kitchen, you want to make sure that this meal is for your patient. So his name is Alexander, he's having breakfast and his diet type is regular NAS which is no added salt and also he has allergies to beans. So next step is you want to check his meal. So you open his meal and you see he has toast and an egg. So thankfully there's no beans in his meal. But what if there's uh, beans in his meal? So you can't just take out the beans and serve him. But instead you would have to take the whole uh, tray of food and go back to the kitchen and give it back. So since everything is fine and next you want to check the temperature. So you can see the steam on the food okay? and also when you see the beverage, if it's hot, you can see the steam coming out or when the beverage is cold, there will be condensation on the cup. Okay, Mr. Alex, I have to bring your tray of meal. So in hospital, we would normally have the table, moving table, that is suitable for the height of working nurse and also for the eating patient. So normally it would come at this height but since I don't have, I'll be using a low desk. So, Mr. Alex, um, would you want me to feed you today? Sure. Okay. So make sure to wash your hands, keep your hands sanitized, and also close the curtain for privacy. And also make sure that the uh, wheels for the bed is locked. And since this patient, he is partially uh, paralyzed on his left hand side so I'll be feeding him on his right hand side which is a strong side of his so I've placed my tray here you know so now I'll be starting by putting on his protective barrier to protect his gown okay. And then the next step is I would want to grab a towel, wet the towel, come back and also wipe his hands. Wipe it on his right hand and also his left hand. Alright Mr. Alex, are you feeling comfortable? Yes. Okay. So don't forget that you have to make sure that the bed is sit the he is seated upright and not lying down. In if not, he will be choking. So Mr. Alex, today your breakfast is toast and egg. So would you like to start off with any of your likings? Toast or an egg? Yes. Alright, so he wants to start off with the toast. So remember to grab a fork or knife and a spoon. And also remember to cut it in smaller pieces so that the patient uh, able to chew it and take his turn. Okay. So as his paralyzed side is on his left side, we'll be feeding him on his right side. Give some time for the patient to chew slowly and also to swallow. And. Mr. Alex, would you like to have a beverage? So normally the beverage will come with the straw, easier for them to... Okay, and that is all from me. Thank you.